Teams. Well, the solar eclipse is just a few weeks away, and there are concerns about the reliability of cell service with hundreds of thousands of visitors expected in the state for that event. Channel 7's Kayla Christian spoke with network providers today. She joins us now with the story. Kayla. Yes, that's right. And while the cell phone companies aren't anticipating many issues, there are things to be out on the lookout for in preparation for the solar eclipse day and day surrounding. We know in, in with the last solar eclipse that we had, um, you know, some network issues where people were having trouble communicating, sending text messages um, or posting on social media. Um, but a lot has changed since then. Um, 4G uh, is what we were running on with the last solar eclipse. Um, and that, that, you know, has about a, a thousands of people that can be on the network at the same time. Now we're running on 5G, which essentially allows millions of people to run on the same network. Companies like AT&T and Verizon have been working for years to make sure service is sustainable, not only through the solar eclipse, but any similar circumstance. We're very confident that the additional capacity we've layered into the network over the past few years will accommodate any increases in data usage. Um, just in particularly in Little Rock, we've added 32 new cell sites, new towers. According to experts, cell service slows down due to multiple devices battling to connect to the nearest cell tower. Since thousands will be packing into parts of the state, providers offered advice on how to be proactive. I think one of the most important things as a regular customer, uh, you know, from any network, but specifically for us, would be just make sure you have the latest software updating your device. And what to do if service is lost. We still have a lot of LT network out there that, that people are not utilizing because people are on 5G. Um, in a time that it's congested, you can, you can move back and forth between the networks uh, to find connectivity. We're excited about this event. We're going to be out and about. We're going to make sure you know that we're, we have the capacity to to welcome everybody into our beautiful state of Arkansas and, and share the eclipse with as many people as we possibly can. Now, the Arkansas Division of Emergency Management says they've partnered to make sure cell communication has the least impact as possible. However, they are suggesting you find neighbors with a landline in case you need to call 911, pack emergency kits for travel, and get familiar with the nearest fire and police stations. On your side. I'm Kayla Christian. Kayla, thanks a lot. The Department of Emergency Management also has a new citizens portal that provides a list of events around Arkansas and exact locations for fire, police, hospital, and emergency shelter.